The Master Chief Collection alongside Halo Reach is going to be added to the PC and the Xbox One. Stay tuned throughout the video to understand all the details. And why 343 wants you to stop sending them pizza. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you some news update information when it comes to the MCC and Halo just in general. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your guys' thoughts are on the MCC coming to PC and Halo Reach coming to the MCC as a whole. If you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because we all know sub boxes can be kind of weird at times. So let's get right into the video. If you guys don't know, on Tuesday, Inside Xbox held an announcement for the MCC. Now there was a lot of speculation going on about this. We That's all we honestly really knew, but we had our speculations and I did make a video about this as well, where all signs were pointing towards the MCC coming to the PC at this announcement. And well, I was correct in that assumption because we had that announced at the Inside Xbox presentation today on uh, Mixer, which was just Awesome, just a, they came out swinging hard on that stream with just MCC news starting out with. Not only did they bring the MCC to PC, which made me happy just by that, but they also decided to bring in Halo Reach along with that into the MCC as a whole. Now, way, way, way back, I did make a video about the top 10, I believe, uh, requests by the community to be added into the MCC. One of the things up there was Halo Reach and they haven't said anything about it since. Now, they've definitely hinted at the content browser, which was on that list as well, which is going to be implemented soon enough. I was, ex I was kind of expecting the content browser to be announced with the MCC being on PC, but adding Halo Reach is pretty freaking awesome, and I'm super excited to get a chance to play Reach on PC in 60 frames or more, we'll get into that later, and also potentially in 4K. Now we do not have a definitive release date for the MCC on PC, but it seems like what they're gonna be doing is an incremental load when it comes to this product, starting out with Halo Reach and having that be on the system on PC first, people test it out, and then officially gets released on so the Insider program is going to be crucial for the MCC to be able to be played on PC, which I'm part of the Inside program when it comes to MCC, so you, if we can, you know I'm going to be making content as soon as it's available on PC about the MCC. But for three states, the reason why I'm doing this incremental release is just so that you can get your hands on the content as soon as possible, rather than waiting months and months and months until the, everything is complete. Because honestly, like we've been playing MCC since 2014, and we want to play Halo Reach now. Come on, let's be real. Obviously, I will want to play all the other campaigns and stuff in 4K and all the awesome resolutions and then frame rates and everything else in between. But uh, we're going to be starting out with Halo Reach being part of the MZC, and then you're going to move chronologically with Combat Evolved, then Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, just the campaign, and then on to Halo 4. Now, this isn't just going to be a simple port over from the console to PC. It's a little bit more than that because, honestly, PC platform expects a bit more content when it comes to settings, and they're definitely going to be trying to deliver that when it comes to the MCC on PC. Things like excellent mouse and keyboard controls, support for multiple resolutions and aspect ratios, different uh, field of view slider, which is also very important, which I'm actually starting to see on console games. This is pretty sweet. Apex Legends has it on their console version, which I think is a great addition. And a big thing here that I haven't really heard anybody talk about, adjustable frame rates. Now, they don't necessarily say exactly what frame rates are going to be adjustable. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be definitely 60 FPS. Now, maybe potentially 90, 120, 144 frames. We don't know for sure, but adjustable frame rates means I'm assuming they going to mean that it's going to be above 60 FPS. You'll be able to get on PC, which would be fantastic. But also, don't worry, gamepad support will also be on the PC version as well. So you can still play with your Xbox controller on the PC while playing the MCC. Now into the Halo Reach news here. Now we do expect, oh, MC, uh, yeah, Halo Reach added to the MCC. Fantastic. So that's gonna be the whole game, right? Well, yes, but there's gonna be some paywalls involved with this. So if you already have the MCC, or if you buy the MCC, Halo Reach multiplayer will be added on there free of charge. You can play the multiplayer as much as you like, including Forge and Theater. Though, if you want to play Halo Reach's campaign or Firefight, that's going to have to cost you a little bit of money as a premium add-on price 
Or if you're an Xbox Game Pass subscriber, you get that already added on for free. So, yeah, it's kind of lame they had to divide up the packaging like that, especially for all the trouble we've gone through with the MCC. Though, it's not a simple task to bring these games up to 4K HDR, 60 frames, on in 1080p at least, and onto a new console, a new platform as well. It takes a lot of time and effort, so they need to get some kind of revenue from this, so I really don't have any issue paying money for it. My guess would probably be something similar to what uh, ODST's campaign was, where if you bought the game after the initial release, I think, then you actually had to pay for the ODST campaign, which I think was like 5 or 10 bucks. So I'm willing to pay 5 or 10 bucks to support 343 and them on the PC platform. No problem with that. But the thing that caught me the most off guard of this entire announcement here was that MCC, not only is it going to be on PC, which I figured, okay, it's going to be a Windows platform, which is going to be annoying. It's going to be a really a big hassle to try to play with. And it's like going to be like my only game on the Windows platform. Not so much because MCC on PC, it's also being released on Steam. That's why Steam, the largest digital distribution website for games, like you, PC gaming and Steam are rather synonymous with each other. Like you, do, you don't have one without the other really. And I'm so happy to see that Microsoft is willing to put MCC on Steam that give the ease of access to this new platform for this game. Just make it so much easier for people to get in and play it. I, that's the biggest thing I think that's been actually hindering Halo from really expanding is its exclusivity to just the console, Xbox console, being able to bring it over to PC and not only just on the Windows platform but also on Steam is absolutely huge. They give this game true potential to grow and expand. Now this announcement was originally set to be made at the Sunday of South by Southwest but Microsoft kind of wanted to push this forward a little bit. But there's still a lot more questions, a lot more information that we have to be answered for the community here. And that's what 343 is going to do. So don't worry, there's still going to be more announcements of the MCC, probably PC related, on Sunday at South by Southwest. Now, I will actually be at this event as well. So you know that I'll be definitely getting real hyped about that. I might even make a video about it real quick just to kind of talk about it with you guys because you know, I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And I'm super excited to see that the MCC is coming to PC. It's absolutely fantastic. Now there's also been a lot of buzz outside the Halo community about coming to the PC. Uh, Summit1G tweeted about it saying he's super excited about it. Ninja even mentioned about wanting to be interested in playing on MCC on PC as well. We all know Dr. Disrespect from his comments previously. He definitely wants Halo on PC as well. And so we have some big name streamers also on here. It would be fantastic for the growth of the MCC on PC. I will make a separate video talking about how influential that really is to the platform as well. So stay tuned, stay subscribed to the channel so you get to stay up to date when that video gets released as well. And on a side note, so the reason why this whole pizza thing is kind of a thing that's happening right now on 343 is because over on Reddit, the subreddit of Halo, they said, if you're going to bring MCC to the PC, I will buy the first person who says it pizza. And then someone on 343 replied back, well, what kind of pizza? And then uh, just the night before the release of this announcement, that sketch just tweeted out an emoji of a slice of pizza. And so now this whole pizza thing has kind of become a thing when it comes to this announcement of MCC. And once it actually got announced to the MCC on the PC, people started sending 343 pizza. Like a lot of pizza. Uh, various pictures here just showing uh, just pizza all over the 343 offices, which is just hilarious to see. Like this is how appreciative people are of MCC coming to the PC. They're just throwing pizza at these people as like a part of the joke of the whole thing. So it just shows how like fun the community can be at times. And they had so much pizza. Brian Gerard or Sketch, the community manager, had to say this in Twitter, saying the Halo community is awesome. We're excited too. Please don't send any more pizzas to 343 Industries. The building's receptionist isn't here, so it's getting logistically challenging, and we really don't want to see food go to waste. And that's just 
hilarious. So yeah guys, that's the initial news when it comes to Halo MCC on the PC. Now we're going to be making a couple more videos about this topic as well because there's a lot to dive into and what this really does mean for Halo as a whole. So stay tuned for the channel, make sure you tap subscribe with the bell so you stay notified whenever those videos do come out. If you enjoyed this informational video, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are of the reach coming to the MCC and the MCC as a whole coming to the PC platform on Steam as well. So if you're new to the channel or miss any content for me check out the videos on the screen right now i'll catch you all in the next video peace out